Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to The Last of Us. You are here with Morris. How are you guys doing? Are you, are you, are you okay? You look great. That haircut that haircut is working for you. And if you remember, at the end of the last part, we just met up with Bill, who is just the most likable, the most lovable of all, you know, most trusting of all the characters I think we've met so far. Uh, <laughs> actually, you know what? In a situation like this, I, I wouldn't say no to having somebody like Bill on my side. Come on. I mean, the guy's ruthless. You know, he's, he's a thinker and a doer, you know, he's um, he doesn't take any shit from anybody and he's willing to slice people's heads off with a machete and you know what, that's a, that's a nice combination of skills to have in the, in the apocalypse, I think, anyway. The Hunter's Note. I saw a group of hunters coming dangerously close to town. L luckily a pack of infected... Ellie, do you mind? I'm reading here, I'm just trying to read. Thank, thank you, Ellie, thank you. Oh, I'll start again. I saw a group of hunters coming dangerously close to town. Luckily a pack of infected chased them off. Reminder, note to self, put up more warning signs, let them know you're serious. Intruders will be shot, survivors will be shot again. Is that, is that what I'm thinking of? Alright, Bill. What kind of trouble are you in? Where the hell's Tess? It's just a job, S simple drop-off. Don't talk about Tess. What are you delivering? <laughs> that little brat? Haha, <laughs> fuck you too. Whoa! She got sass. You know, I, I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> Where are we going, Bill? My other safe house. More of an armory. Wait, I thought we were gonna fix up a car. <laughs> we? You know how to fix Bill, just. Ooh. It's like I said. By the way, thank you to the person that said um, you can hold triangle in to pick a group of stuff up. I actually never knew that. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I'm still on my second. This is still only my second playthrough. So, you know, I am likely to miss a couple of things still. But hey, who knows? I might notice things that I, I missed the first time around. Like this bat. No, I didn't miss that. Who, who needs the bat? Come on. I got a pipe. Always go with the pipe. Ellie, remember that. Always go with the pipe. How's it hanging, Bill? Well, that don't sound good. Shh, shh, shh. Go inside. Oh, I needed to take care of that. No, you didn't answer my question about Tess. Yeah, you know, I thought the two of you were inseparable. <laughs> She's busy. Yeah, sure. Busy. <laughs> Sounds. Oh, jeez. Might, might be trouble in paradise. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Uh, I take a swig of tea just to distract myself. Hey, you know what? That's fine. That's that's the world we live in. Ah, <laughs> uh, you see that, Ellie? You could learn a thing or two from this guy. Alright, where are we going? God, this has been days since I played this. Almost a week, maybe. You know, it's been really hot. Anybody, I mean, I can't speak for anyone outside of the so, UK, but, um... why don't you fix one of these cars? It's been really hot around here. Oh my god, you're a genius. <laughs> I mean, so I've been doing time, other things. Why on earth hadn't I thought about fixing one of mm. these cars? Okay, don't be a dick. Their tires are rotted and their batteries are dead. Not to you say I don't remember what's coming. You begin to think what the inside of the engine block look like. Only ones making new car batteries are the military. God damn it. Infected! Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. It's all fine, everything's fine. We're all fine here. Oh jeez. Oh no, you ain't getting the drop on me, baby. You insane. Come on, Bill. Do your thing, baby. Do your thing. Well, I went much better than right. the first time. <laughs> Check the barricades again. You neglect the simple shit, and now you're paying for it. Oh, you know snap. what that means? Taking all the supplies from the warehouse. Okay. And the well, now he's talking to himself. Hey, Bill. Joel. Come this way. See, it's exactly what I'm talking about, Ellie. Always look to replace your pipe. <laughs> Are you taking notes here? Any goodies? 
I mean, I'm not expecting there to be much around here, but... Anything at all. Just even a little morsel. A tiny morsel of anything. You know what? If I got a bottle, I got a brick. The brick brick's much better. Don't actually think there's much difference, but I think I'd rather be carrying a brick. You picked a hell of a place to hold up, didn't you? You know, as bad as those are, at least they're predictable. Normal people scare me. You of all people should understand that. What does that mean? Nothing. Can I make anything? Just really quick. <laughs> ah, I'm pretty full up on stuff. Gotta keep on top of this stuff, you know? Up, oh, still full. Alright. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. Sorry, I'm holding up the group. I do apologize. Are you sure that gate's gonna hold them? Well, I locked it. They don't have a key. Alright, Bill. You don't gotta be sarcastic every single time. <laughs> so which way? In the cellar. Yeah, all right. I knew they were there. <laughs> all right. I guess I'm opening it up. I'm doing all the work. Got it. All right, down here. Hmm. That's a great cup of tea. Well, here we are. You don't touch anything. And you close the door. Gear up. Uh-uh. What? I need a gun. No, you don't. You don't need Joel, shit. Joel, I can handle myself. No. Just stay here. It's fine. Just wait around for you two to get me killed. Well, this goes on record as the worst fucking job you've ever taken. Hey, it's up there. How in the hell is Tess okay with this suicide mission? Her idea. Really? Well, the broad's not as smart as I thought she was. What? Fuck her. <sighs> Seriously, you gotta take that kid back to where you found her. I can't just take her back. Then send her packing. Let her find her own way. But let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. A partner. Somebody I had to look after. And in this world, that sort of shit's good for one thing. Getting you killed. So you know what I did? Well, why isn't the fuck up? And I realized it's gotta be just me. Bill, it ain't, it ain't like that. It's bullshit. It is just like that. Hey! what I say to you when we walk down the steps? what I say? I'm just fixing your stupid pile. Don't touch. God damn it. You keep babysitting long enough, and eventually it's gonna blow up in Bill. your face. Can we please just get on with it? Here. Let's get on with it. Oh, yeah. Now this, this, is what you want to be handed in this kind of situation. All right, before we go any further, I got something I gotta show you. Everybody's favorite gun, right? <laughs> New toy from the toy box. Doesn't matter what enemy you throw at me, as long as I got this, I'll be fine. This is a nail bomb. You gotta be really careful. This thing blows, it shreds anybody standing nearby. It looks more like a scissor bomb, really. <laughs> So that's what all these scissors are used for. Throw bombs, or place bombs. Bombs explode. So we got shotguns and bombs. What the hell are we doing with them? Well, every few weeks this military caravan rides through town. I assume they're out looking for supplies. You'd be amazed at the shit that they overlook. Anyway, a few months Ooh, back, tools. they were rolling through and they get overrun with this horde of infected. They were all over the truck. It plows right in the side of the high school. Still sitting there with a the battery in it. So we take that battery and we put it in another car. Bingo! I wanted to get it, but it seemed too dangerous with all the infected on that part of town. But fuck it. 
Joel needs a car. Hey, what if it's damaged? Those trucks are like tanks. Just sitting there. Actually, might work. This plan's so crazy, it just might work. God, I can't tell you how grateful I am for that whole triangle thing. <laughs> ah, anyway. What do I want to upgrade? What do I freaking want to upgrade? I don't even know. I usually take my time with these kind of things. It's kind of game where you think about your decisions, you know? <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of decision making to make, but... Uh, do I want to say... I kind of want the holster of the second pistol, just in case I run out of ammo, quickly change. You know what, let's make it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it eventually, so I might as well just make it now. What am I using more than anything? Probably... Probably this little revolver here. And uh, maybe, maybe we'll do the shotgun. Maybe we'll do the shotgun. I'll do for now. This will hold. Well, let's hope so, Joel. Let's hope so. Alright, did I miss anything down here? Alright, let's move. Joel needs a car. Let's move. <laughs> Kid, I swear to God, if you took anything... Hey, man, I don't need any of your shit. Trust me. Joel, you are keeping an eye on her, right? Like a hawk. Two eyes. So what if you took your shit? You don't even have anything worth taking, really. Anything worth taking is in my backpack. <laughs> ah, let's take all these useful planks of wood. anything around here. Oh, is there another floor? I don't remember that. No, blocked off. Got it. <laughs> hey, you gotta check. Wow. Nice place you got here. Well, if you got anything to confess, this would be the place to do it. I don't know if I choose a, some kind of church, chapel, cathedral to hold up in here. Really. Whoa, hey, what? No, whoa, hey, there's a whole other room down here. That's not the confessional booth, that's my room. Alright, I'm not touching anything. Just... I'm not, I'm not, promise, promise I'm not touching anything. Nothing at all, apart from these, and nothing else though, definitely nothing else. Ellie, you didn't see a thing. Bombs now. Group of runners triggered most of the bombs on the south side of town. It's time to do another pass. Don't forget to mark the map with all bomb locations. Or so help you God. You will not have any limbs left. <laughs> Alright, let's move. Ellie, come on. Look, there's a school. Alright. Oh man, I don't want to go to school. Guess we'll find out. Jeez. What's uh what's listen mode again? Oh man. R2, right, got it, got it, got it. Shows you how long it's been since I played this. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, you know, it's, it's it's been pretty hot in the UK, you know, I'm sweating right now. Maybe that's the tension, I don't know. But you know when it's warm weather, it just it didn't it didn't put me in the mood for playing on. games all day, you know? <laughs> and hey, you can't blame me for that. Yeah, come on, you don't need to be looking at that. Seen worse. Hey, I've seen Bill. Bill's worse than that, right? Right? Am I right, Ellie? <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. I'm gonna write that down. Jeez. You're a cold man, Bill. Past this gate, it's all new territory to me. I'm I guess. Good. I guess I'll take point then. <laughs> Not that I would know any better, but still. Now I remember enemies down here. You can't fool me. Hey, hey, you guys hear that? Keep quiet. Oh, jeez. All right, so I want to uh, I want to address one of the uh, one of the comments on the last video, which was uh, talking about. I mean, I, sorry if I don't I don't remember your name, but you'll know who you are because you said it. So um, <laughs> about the whole um, linear slash semi linearity about um, mon games. You know, I don't mind. 
I don't mind the, the games that tell you to go from A to B. This one's great because it has that kind of blend of... It, you, there, there is exploration, but it's not so vast that you feel like it's overwhelming, but it's not so narrow that you feel like you're just being told to walk from from A to B, you know. But I don't really mind the whole A to B thing. It's, it's, it's all really about how different components kind of fit together. You know, this game is not about... You know, d just setting the bar high for insane gameplay or anything like that. I mean, for the past quarter of an hour, I've just been walking around rooms pressing triangle. You know, it's not. <laughs> we're not. We're not breaking any barriers with this kind of thing. Um, hang on, let me just take this guy out real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Go down. That's it. That's it. Good one. Whew. Thank you, Bill. That's the first nice thing you've said. See, you'd be happy to have our company, really. But yeah, this game is all about telling a story. Um, I don't think anybody can deny that. And if that's if that's what you want to do, if that's you know, if that's the kind of point, if that's the kind of reason, the overarching reason why you're making a game, you want to tell just a great story, then that's fine with me. You know, it's uh, but as long as you focus on the things that that make that work. You know, focus on great characters, focus on you know really well written dialogue. You know, hone that script down, make it perfect. You know, it's a, this game is all about you know, the relationships between characters. It's all about what people say. It's all about how they look at each other. In fact, more importantly, it's all about what they don't say, you know? I mean, there is, I'm sure everybody else has noticed this, but there isn't a line in this game where you go, why did that character say that? You know, you never question why a character says or does something because it all it all makes sense. My God, Bill, you are ballsy. You are ballsy. I mean, I'm sure everybody's been in that situation in a game where you're playing through it and a character will say something and you'll go, well, why did they even say that? Why do they need to point that out? You know, like a, like a well-duh moment, you know? It's like, obviously I have to go this way or obviously I have to do such and such a thing. You know, you don't need to tell me that. That, that. that kind of thing never happens in this game. Like, nobody's... Bill hasn't said, you know, go this way and go down here and to the right and everything. You know, you're just kind of making it up as you go along. <laughs> And it, you know, I think they've they've definitely thought about, you know, the the important things that make up a great story. I mean, gameplay wise, this uh, whilst it does have some some really great moments, that's that's all it has. You know, like I say, we're not we're not uh, we're not exactly pushing the boundaries here. But you know, it all depends what you prefer in a game. You know, I'm a fan of exploration. I like I, I like not being told what to do a lot of the time. <laughs> Just kind of making it up as you go along. I hate those things. Ah, oh, thanks, Ellie. I also hate those things. No, I might not want to say that too loud, though. They are, like, right next to each other. Right next to us as well. Oh, jeez. I'm definitely sweating now. <laughs> Scary. Ah, oh, plants. Gotta take them. You know, there's all kinds of goodies that are probably in this area that I have no idea about. These are the kind of areas that, you, that I never explore because I don't want to friggin' stay here too long. Hold up. I got a key for that gate. Just be moved quietly. Oh, jeez. Runners! Easy. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. Everything is okay. Alright, Bill. You and me. You and me. Don't you dare shoot anyone. We can do this quick and quiet. Quick and quiet. I got him. I got him. I got him. His buddy don't, don't realize a thing. Oh, man. oh geez, there was no need for that, was there really? But yeah, the dialogue in this, you know, there's no, like I say, there's no sort of... Oh god. <laughs> Go down and stay down. Thank you. There's no, uh, <laughs> there's no wasted lines, there's no crazy sort of over-the-top apocalyptic dialogue. This is all very, it's all very realistic. Oh my Christ. Jesus. Bill, you want to help me out? That'd be great. Great, this is great work, guys. This is really great work. 
Nice one, Bill. Whew. You know what? I'm I'm all right with that. I'm okay with this. Is anyone not okay with this? Because I'm okay with this. <laughs> well, you weren't kidding about this place, were you? What was I even saying? <laughs> oh yeah, the dialogue. This, you know, it's realistic. It's how people talk. And I like that. I mean, people, you know, a lot of people criticize modern games for it's like, oh yeah, graphics on everything, but they're kind of important. <laughs> You know, when you're creating a game where, you know, the, the, I mean, Ellie is a great, um, is a great example, but, you know, you can tell a lot through her facial expression, and the, there's, you know, I, um, I played Bioshock Infinite as well, anybody who's played that will know that, uh, who, who's the friggin, I only played it through once, who's the, what's the friggin name of the, is it Anna? Or, I can't remember her name, but, the, you know, the, the, the female companion through the whole game, <laughs> um, you know, she's, uh, you, you can tell a lot by what? she's not saying, by how she looks at you, and by how she looks at other characters and parts of the world, you know? Give me all this. I think as long as there's an emphasis on the important parts of the experience that you're trying to create, then uh, you can afford to kind of, you know, skimp out on other things, I think. I mean, no game is perfect. <laughs> no game will ever be perfect, I don't think. I mean, you know, these... I, I, don't, I never understand these charts of, like, the you know, the 50 greatest games of all time. It's like, well, who can possibly make that decision? <laughs> because there's going to be someone in the world who goes, you know what, I don't like that kind of game. So how can that possibly be number one? It's all a matter of opinion, it's all a matter of what you get out of these things. And there's no problem with an emphasis on cutscenes as well. I mean, the cutscenes in this game are great, you know, they never, they're not wasted. Like I, like I said, same with the dialogue, they're not wasted, they're not, you never... Jeez, can that guy see me? Back up. Which backyards? Which backyards are you even talking about? If you guys would give me a gun, I could help you kill some of these fuckers. Shut up, shut up. You don't want to go, to go, Nelly. You, you don't. Want, you don't want to be part of this. But yeah, the cutscenes add a fair bit. You know, they're not all over the place. Games are also criticized. You know, well, why? You know, games should be games. They shouldn't try and be films. It's like you'd never friggin' Metal Gear Solid. You know, one of one of my favorite stories ever told in a game ever. You know. Fantastic gameplay wise. I mean, I'm thinking about Metal Gear Solid 4 here. Gameplay wise, if you've seen the, if you've seen my series on it, if you've played it yourself, if you've heard or read anything about it ever, gameplay wise, not a lot to do, but still a great game, still a great story. You know, I mean, you try and turn that into a movie, you will be on your ass. It will crash and burn. You know, <laughs> it isn't trying to be, um, you know, a film. It's trying to be a game. It's just a very specific type. This way. I mean, I don't really mind dialogue-heavy things side. either. I We're like dialogue-heavy games. <laughs> what, the doggy door? I'll get it then, shall I? Very careful. Of course. Maybe you should have given her a gun. Okay, Bill. Nice one, Bill. Yeah, one sec. One second. Just gotta do a quick sweep of this area. Oh yeah, and that, that reminds me, there was a um, another comment talking about the bow. Uh, again, I can't remember the name of the person, but um, yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I just I I, I don't use it. It's inter it's interesting that you that you actually um, said that because it shows a bit of diversity as far as you know play style goes. Like I would sooner you, I would sooner alert everyone and use the shotgun. Oh, 
than waste my time with the bow. I ain't seen this yet. And I say waste my time because I'm just not a very good shot with it. <laughs> so, you know, I rely on other things. I rely on brute force sometimes to get through things rather than stealth. But that's great. It shows a bit of diversity that, 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 you know, you wouldn't necessarily know was there. I certainly didn't. Alright, guys. Let's just take it slowly, shall we? Anything in here? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I don't need to kill any of these guys, do I? Again? Jeez, it's like a real photo. Shells, always welcome. Always welcome. Anything else? Bill, you better not get trigger happy with that shotgun now. All right, come on, let's get up. On you are being over. Should be clear. Alright, let's roll. Where's Ellie? She's good. Oh my. Heart skipped to be there. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Who the hell left us here? You got friends in town? No. Although I got some idea who might have come through here. School's on the other side of this house. Let's get inside. Come on, Ellie. Fancy a dip in the pool, guys? Oh, no, no, don't. Don't ever. Don't. <laughs> Are there any guys around here? I'm just running around, not even thinking about it. All right, we're good. We're good. Oh, God. I'm knocking over the furniture. Reckless Joel. Out of the shed. There's got to be stuff in here, right? I, I don't know about you, but I always keep my explosives in the shed. Just in case anybody comes a knocking, you know, you don't want that stuff just, just all up in the living room or anything. <laughs> Ooh, candles. Fancy. Look at this perfectly good TV. Nobody took. Oh wait, no power. Got it. You know, you do wonder. I mean, it, it, back when we, when, when was it? When we had all those riots here in England, <laughs> very so, well, not recently, but um, you know, you kind of wonder that the people who, yeah. the people who do that kind of thing, they, they're the kind of people that, if all the electricity went out, those are the kind of people that would try and steal, you know, TVs and everything, <laughs> all of the things that require electricity. Ooh, ah, that was just a full shiv. Jeez. Generous. Alright, I'm gonna check this floor. You guys just, uh... You know, hold the fort, or whatever. You know, 10-4. Whatever that means. My god. God, look at all these painkillers. Max Payne would be loving this world. Just three painkillers all over the place. <laughs> Much more than his world. Ooh. Boy's Diary. October 4th. It's official. School is closed indefinitely. School's out. I guess this outbreak is good for something. No school equals no homework, which is fine by me. Now what do I do with all this free time? What kid writes like this? October 5th. Mom and Dad were fighting. They were somehow yelling at each other while whispering at the same time. It sounded like Mom wanted to leave, go to her sister's. Dad says it's safe here. But the outbreak won't reach our town. Whoops, I skipped it. I, I skipped it, I'm sorry. October 6th. Dad yelled at me for listening to the radio. He says that the news is bullshit. Mom agreed with him while putting on a brave face, but I can tell she's scared. They both look scared. October 7th. I think Dad felt bad about yesterday. Gadget was asleep in my bed, and Dad didn't say anything about it. He came in, petted him, sighed, and walked out. I've never seen him like this, apart from when he got fired. 
October 10th, Dad was consoling Mom last night. Aunt, Aunt Karen is dead. At least that's what I think I heard. When we sat for breakfast, everyone was all quiet as if nothing happened. I played along. October 15th, Officer Jones stopped by and chatted with... The, nobody keeps... Who keeps a diary this religiously? Come on. Officer Jones stopped by and chatted with Dad. More like whispered with Dad. Lots of that going around these days. Afterwards, Dad told us that we have to leave town. We have to go to a new home, that the military will protect us. I'm only allowed to bring one bag with me. Mom just sat there. You know, I don't know how old this kid is. I mean, looking at the room, not that old, really. But they have great grammar, you know, for somebody this young. October 16th. Where we're going... <laughs> Look on the bright side. Where we're going, there are no pets allowed. We drove to the edge of town with Gadget. I took off his collar and let him go. On the drive... On the drive back, Dad kept talking about how he'll be fine. He's meant to be free in the wild. Whatever. October 17th. It's time. Dad says we'll be back before we know it. I think he's full of it. Jeez. I wonder what happened to them. I wonder what happened to the dog. Hey, you got a second? Maybe. Well, I gotta pause it for now, guys. But thank you very much for watching this episode of The Last of Us. And I hope to see you all in the next part, guys. I will see you in a bit. See you later.